Welcome back to my channel, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is your Libra, your energy, full moon reading. What energy is this full moon bringing into you guys? Okay, we'll keep that card. Ooh, we'll keep that one too. We've already shuffled this, so let's see. Okay, okay, okay. What we have for you guys already, we have... Oh, closing out a cycle with this new moon, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you're closing out a cycle of being low in funds or um, lacking in health. Maybe you've been very stressed out and that's been affecting your health or your money. But with this closing out a cycle of lack of abundance here, so moving into abundance with this new moon energy. And again, this is Libra energy. This is your guys' energy, releasing, um, releasing grudges, releasing things that are no longer serving you, cutting communication with people that you don't need to be speaking to anymore. Maybe people that are holding you back from this abundance, whether it be financial financial health or wealth um let me know if that is the case air signs gemini libra and aquarius Ooh, ace of cups in reverse pisces cancer scorpio energy with this this is i feel like this is you taking love off the table right now or somebody taking love off the table for you but with this ace of cups where this would be love up overflowing love opportunities overflowing i feel like this is you just focusing on yourself right now with this ace of cups in reverse interesting is that the case focusing on yourself during this close while you're closing out the cycle and then the queen of cups in reverse pisces cancer scorpio energy here i feel like yeah you're just focusing on yourself right now with this water sign energy um having to do with a lot of emotions and or love i feel like it's not that you're not interested in dating right now but you're just focused on yourself where this queen of cups is already She's had, she's got her foot in the waters here, but she's not fully committed to finding love or being in a committed relationship. She's definitely waiting for the right opportunity. This is you presenting yourself and like, I'm willing to hang out, but I'm not looking for anything too serious with this water sign energy. Again, with you closing out this cycle and moving towards this um, abundance, I feel like you're just focused on you because you're taking advantage of these new opportunities that are coming your way. Libra energy here with the justice card. Okay, we see you, Libra energy, new, oh, excuse me, Libra energy, full moon in Libra. This is this. You're making major decisions here. You're restoring that balance. Again, I feel like you're releasing negative energy, releasing the it, 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 air signs. If you are not savers, maybe this is the time where you start making money and saving money, paying off those debts. For some people, this is that for you. For some people, this is making major decisions that are causing you an imbalance in your life, whether that be health, wealth, whatever, family. Um, friends, but this is you taking control here, making balanced decisions, really weighing the consequences and communicating here, communicating what your needs are, what you do need, what you don't need, um, and what you, um, what you need to be happy here. I feel like sometimes you guys can be worried about people pleasing so much that you forget to take care of yourself. So you're restoring this balance, restoring your own energy here with this justice card, with this Libra moon, Libra energy already. Okay, guys. And then we have the Eight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We're in Aries season, but this is you feeling a little bit stuck here. And again, I feel like that's this Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups energy, feeling stuck maybe in um, where you're going right now, closing out the cycle of maybe lack, again, this abundance. I don't know what that is. You'll let me know what that is down in the comments or whatever that is that cycle you're closing out of and moving into this abundance. But something had you held back here. Maybe it was a fire sign person you were dealing with, or maybe it was a lack of um, passion, motivation, or drive here with this Eight of Wands in reverse. And maybe that's what you're moving out of is this lack of motivation that was holding you back in maybe all areas and causing that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Again, maybe you were dealing with a fire sign person here with this Leo card energy. We're, again, we're in that Aries season, but this is you moving forward. Maybe it was a lack of confidence that was holding you back in the past with the Strength card. Maybe that's what was keeping you from making some decisions that were keeping you from moving forward, holding you back in love, keeping you in balance was a lack of confidence. But, but I feel like again, with you releasing these things under this new moon and focusing on yourself, you're gonna, you're gonna, if it's not already confidence being restored, that's what you're focusing on here, focusing on you and restoring that confidence. Okay. More of your energy here, air signs with this four source. You're taking some time out to focus on you. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy with this new moon. You're releasing things that are just tying you down because you're. it's making you feel stuck worrying about other people and people pleasing right now is what I'm getting with this four source. So you're just, okay, you're just definitely, you're feeling stressed out, maybe even sick to your stomach, having lots of anxiety. So you just need to take a break and you're, again, focusing on you so that you can restore this balance with this justice card energy with this four of swords. Just taking a time out. That's, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's the spring. Spring cleaning. 
And here we have another four, restoring that balance, setting a solid foundation here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with this Four of Cups. Maybe you're feeling like you missed out on an opportunity, or maybe you feel like you've missed out on an opportunity to really be your best self right now, and you're taking advantage under this new moon energy, or this new moon releasing certain energies to really focus on yourself, or focus on whatever it is was this new missed opportunity was and taking advantage of that with this new confidence that you have. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck we have more fire sign energy here with the Knight of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Aries season, this is the player card for me. I had a water sign question that, um, and I'm going to continue to read that way. But this is player energy for me. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is some type, again, with you guys focusing on yourself, this is what I'm feeling for you. You're still presenting yourself there out on the dating field, and you're letting people know. But this, to me, is you communicating that simply, I'm here for a good time but not a long time i'm not here to make anything serious with you i'm just here to, i'm really focused on myself and getting money i'm this is very um while this can be something very passionate you're very passionate about something but not love right now this is you focus on yourself very selfish energy focusing on you right now selfish in a good way aquarius energy here air signs this is you wishing upon a star and getting that wish fulfillment and again with this libra energy air sign energy with this full moon i feel like this is if you've done the work, again, Aquarius, air signs in general, but Aquarius especially, very hardworking people. They put in the work. They pour themselves into their work when they really, really love something. Okay, so with this energy, if you put in the work with this new moon, you are going to be feeling, reaping the rewards with this new energy. You're going to be raising your vibration, opening those things in, and look at all that abundance pouring in. That's that Ten of Pentacles moment. This is what you're moving into, that wish fulfillment. Let me know if you can feel that air signs down in the comments. There may be a lot of con inner conflict and confusion here with this Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but this is a time where of a lot of movement um, and a lot of action right now with this Aries season. Aries people, <laughs> we love them, but they are very uh, aggressive. This may be you just being a little short right now while you're focused on your goals because you just feel like you don't have time for any distractions with this Five of Wands energy is what I'm getting. So not so much conflict, not so much issues in love. It can be that if this resonates for you in the love arena. But with this, I just feel like this is you just focus on you to avoid certain conflicts that are on the outside. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune here, Major Arcana, again, closing out cycles here, like we had with that Ten of Pentacles, closing out some type of lack of, ab of abundance. This is the universe stepping in and causing and forcing you to have that balance. Again, with that Justice card, Libra energy here, we have the Libra and Aquarius right under here. Oh, and we have Gemini right underneath this. Okay, 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 you guys are fully shown up here. But this is the universe forcing you to level up right now with this Wheel of Fortune card. The universe is coming in, breaking things down, removing this stagnant energy, giving you this confidence to move forward and take this break and focus on yourself. You're not going to miss out on an opportunity to level up here on yourself. Make yourself. You're going to focus on yourself here. You're, if the right opportunity in love presents itself, you're still going to take it with this Knight of Wands energy. But really, you're just focused on you right now. And with the Star card, you're focused on whatever it is your goals are, your ambitions. You've manifested this and you're reaping the rewards right now with this new energy this is the universe give it saying you can do this you can have whatever it is that you put your mind to and put the effort into with this wheel of fortune gemini's here you are in the building you thought you were going to show up here i didn't think you were going to show up but here you are with the lover's card this is a golden opportunity here if this is love if this is a love opportunity that you feel confident to approach this person could be another air sign or a lack of communication a lack of lack of confidence in communicating with people you're removing that here with this gemini energy this lover's card because things are divine divinely guided and coming together this is the garden of eden this is a place of total abundance here again your that lack of abundance whatever that was you can let me know down in the comments i'm very curious you're walk, you're closing out of that cycle right now you're absolutely again and moving away from that with this cancer energy here this is the chariot moving forward with balance this is the opposite of that eight of wands in reverse and major arcana energy you are moving forward again in this golden opportunity so gemini libra and aquarius we're going to close it out there because it's just too positive this um, new moon is in your energy with that Libra moon. Let me know if this resonates for you at all down in the comments. Please don't forget to, su to subscribe. Find me on my social media for your personal reading. I am at down the number two or tarot on Instagram. Keep it real, y'all.